Well, it's third day digging here. Get the focus going. So this is a Medfordite geode. I want to put my rock hammer out here for, for scale. So you can see. So it goes, I haven't uncovered the whole thing. I think this is about the, judging by the, the curvature of it, uh, I think I got about maybe, maybe a quarter of it uncovered. It seems to dip down here. I haven't reached the dip over here or, or up at the top. That rock will come out easy. Um, it's starting to dip down here at the bottom. And there's a corner right here. I bust, busted out the piece last night. Uh, and there's a cool, it looks like a, the, the, the corner of a cardboard box. Or a box, uh, the way that the all the three sides meet up right here is pretty cool. Anyways, uh, so um, I've cleaned out a lot of the dirt from inside. And I got some fresh water that's coming down here, um, letting it fill back in there. Uh, and I'll scoop out the muddy water and do that a couple times until it's a little cleaner. I get get an idea of what's going on a little better. Well, I'll do that while, you know. And I dig while I'm, and by dig, I mean bust rocks, uh, while I'll wait for that to fill up. But uh, on the outside, what we got going on, we got Medfordite which locals, uh, I know, look for this stuff. And it's pretty cool to find. Even a small piece, uh, it can look pretty. Uh, this stuff is uh, pretty good quality from what I hear. If uh, anybody wants to, anybody knows specifically about the stuff, they can uh, let me know. But we got that milky clear quartz going on all over this thing. Uh, this whole area right here, I broke up the matrix off of there, uh, so you can, so I could see what was going on there. The matrix here is pretty chalky. And it's tough. And the irregular surface of this means that a lot of times I'm hitting the, the hard quartz and agate instead of just that chalky stuff when I use the flat side. That's why I like to pick because I can get into those. You know, there's a lot of uh, you know, little nooks and crannies in there so i mean it doesn't have to be perfect in fact as a specimen i believe that people like to see matrix on it i mean it'd be really cool to polish up a side of this um it looks really great uh slabbed out and if what i'm thinking is that possibly behind these crystals here uh somewhere back around here that it might be completely filled in and if that's the case this stuff right here slabbed out uh, is about twenty dollars a pound from what I hear twenty dollars a pound so uh, rocks are about two thousand pounds a cubic yard cubic yard is three feet by three feet what I've got exposed here is three feet by three feet. So if it's 2,000 pound rock times 20, you know, $40,000 possibly. Now, if it's a low grade, which I think it's a little higher than low grade from what I'm seeing here and from what they said at the shop, 
those uh, green inclusions, the lines. It's a good rich green. Those lines are nice. And this is just the surface of it, and it's not, you know, broken nicely or cut or anything like that. But uh, but there's some good looking spots indicating that what's inside might be good uh, milky quartz, which is the that's quintessential for Medfordite is uh, milky quartz, it's good quality milky quartz, and that uh, that rich green uh, that we're seeing right there. Let's see what we got milky quartz, but that's not the milky clear. That's just the milky. But we get milky clear, like right there. You know, that's... And there's a little bit of crystal quartz inside of there too. Well, rock quartz, I don't know. But it's all the same. Not really, but... Um, so, this goes back pretty far. If I grab my brush, that's how I get the water out. Because I don't have too good a way to do that other than this. So what I'm doing is just brushing the water out. Just like this, peeps. If I can focus. Brush a little bit of this clean water in there. Do a little bit of Did you not? This stuff is sharp. Ow. Razor sharp. Now quartz is silica. Silica that's what they use to make glass. So broken quartz. Well, it can be a lot like broken glass. There's a lot of sharp edges in here. So now that I got a little bit of water out of there, let's dip the camera down in, forgive the the 90 degree uh, rotation, but this is what we got going on down here at a crystal cave. Um, too bad it's not big enough to get in. You know, maybe big enough for a ferry or something. So, anybody uh, that's looking for a ferry crystal cave that has, you know, 40 grand uh, hit me up when I get this out I'll get it all cleaned up for you yeah. <laughs> joking but I'm not joking it's a beautiful rock I'm really hoping that I don't have to uh, break it into too many pieces to get it out Hopefully I can get all the way around it. I don't know how I'm gonna get under it. Somebody knows how. But it's a 
put my pick there. Give you one final little. Good. There we go. There's a good view. that hopefully I'll get this out someday <laughs> I'll have to cover this up in fact that's what I'm gonna start doing this is so exposed now so it's gonna suck to have to undig it every day but I think I'll just put one rock over the top right there put some dirt around the rock and call it good hopefully uh, rock hounding season's kind of over except for the diehards the diehards like to come out after the rains or during the rains because stuff gets exposed you know that's how i found this i was up here earlier this summer i wasn't digging this is the first time i dug for rock well second time i dug for sunstones but uh So what I'm thinking, I might uh, tomorrow come back and what I want to do here, in the very least, is get some more of this rock out. If I can't get the whole thing, there's a crack right here, and there's a crack here, and this rock actually... Uh, it, it moves a little bit. That's this rock right here. Um, I might be able to get it out. If I can get this rock out, though, which might, I have to do this one to get this one, uh, then what do I do? Chip away this, and then I can get a piece, hopefully, from somewhere over here. Try to get down, you know, a good six, eight inches from right here get down that way as far as I can and break that out right here or right here and right here and maybe get out a piece you know 40 50 pound piece and uh, and take it in to get graded whatever so